Yo, 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 you guys, it's that cartoon is back once again, and we have a new episode of The Flash. This episode's title is What's Past is Prologue. So if y'all dig in the content, go ahead and hit your boy with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. The episode opens up with Wells and Ralph getting information and more dirt on Takeda and them divulging that information to the team. As they're going through this, they're trying to figure out a way to stop Cicada's dagger because that's literally the only thing holding them back from taking him down. Nora suggests they get all the items they need in the past. They need an item strong enough to act like a magnet so that Cicada has a hard time calling forth his lightning bolt. And what she talks about is getting items that were discarded that nobody will miss so it won't affect the future, the present day. She basically tells them we can cheat the future by placing that particular item somewhere in the past so we can use it once it's been created. And then we jump back to the future and then utilize that item in present day. Barry is reluctant to let Nora join on this particular mission, but Iris is just like, let her go and let her live basically. And all the while, the team is charting out the best times for them to jump back to, to avoid any kind of reaction where somebody meets themselves or something like that. And Wells ends up stealing Nora's journal. Nora and Barry go to the time right before they beat Savitar and they are actually followed by a time rape. So Barry ends up having to go ahead and run around and distract that thing while Nora ends up grabbing one of the shards. While Barry's running around with the time rape, Nora is witnessing events of her father's past that she never knew about because it wasn't documented exactly like that in the archive. Once she gets to the shard, she meets up with her father and they zoom out. And it's funny because they run into the next place they're supposed to be at. And that is with Zoom. Zoom is still in Barry's speed and Barry, our Barry, ends up trying to go grab that small device to contain the actual shard. Wells actually catches Barry, but thinks it's their Barry. So after getting rid of Wells, he ends up getting ready to leave along with Nora, but then Zoom pops in. They all run out, and of course, Zoom is gonna try and steal another speedster's speed. And as they're running and going into the past, the time wraith, instead of grabbing Barry, grabs Zoom, and they move on to their next destination. Unfortunately, because that was such an abrupt jump, Barry ends up breaking the device to hold the shard. And it makes him, he just gets pissed off, he's mad, and he's just like, I should have never brought you here, Nora. But it wasn't Nora's fault at all. Really, he has some deeper issues he has to handle. Time travel is a funny thing. They end up going or stopping off by accident to the time Barry went back into the past to speak to Eobar, his greatest nemesis. So, you know, Nora only knows that he's just the greatest nemesis, not exactly why. So, Nora and Barry end up going to Eobar and took a little bit convincing, but he fixed the device for them. After that, they go to the night where everything happened, the night of the particle accelerator explosion. Barry and Nora get to Star Labs and they end up hiding inside of the room with Gideon. And you know, Eobar is like, he senses there's another speedster, but they didn't run. He is stopped by Caitlin and Cisco. They kind of talk a little bit and then they go back to turn off the accelerator. They put the device in a slot within Gideon's machine and it absorbs the energy. And before this happens, you know, Nora finds out why her father didn't want her to come because he didn't want her to have these bad memories of her father throughout time because Eobar killed his mother simply to try to stop him from being the Flash and other events like that that weren't necessarily put into the Flash Museum. And Nora's just like, I don't care, you're my father. And they share, they share a heartfelt moment, which was nice. Now the particle accelerator exploded and now our team has the dark matter they need within that small device. So they end up going to the hospital where Cicada's niece will be. And then they end up phasing it into one of the pillars of the hospital. Then they go back into the future. The team gears up to go get Cicada. Barry goes outside, Cicada comes outside of the actual hospital. And he's like, all y'all medicine need to come out. All four of y'all need to come out. So of course the rest of the squad pops out. He goes to throw his lightning bolt right at Ralph because they did all these events. The lightning bolt ends up going right to their device. And it looks like they won. Cisco grabs Cicada's lightning bolt 
and vibes it into outer space. And the team starts to get the upper hand, but Cicada is like, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. And he basically summons it back from outer space. He is about to lay waste to the whole freaking team. Lightning Bolt strikes down. You see the little wave where people start to, I think, lose powers and stuff. And before he can really lay hands like he's supposed to, Caitlyn turns into Killer Frost and tries to freeze him. Cicada doesn't want no smoke, so he ends up flying away. When they get back to HQ, the team acknowledges Killer Frost and it's been proven that Killer Frost has nothing to do with Dark Matter. So she can't lose her powers the way the other Ignitus can. So she might be the key in stopping Cicada. Nora notices her journal's gone and goes to Wells about it. And, you know, Wells kind of doesn't believe her. And you can kind of see that. That's a detective in him. Nora ends up going to the past to look at Barry's parents. And Barry's there, seeing them just in a happier time, of course far away so they couldn't ruin anything in the future. And the two share a moment and then they did. Nora ends up going to Gideon in the, in the private room and recording all of her data and sending a message to somebody. Then she decides she wants to send it herself. So she goes to the future and we see she's talking to Well. And of course, at the very end of the episode is a shout out or a preview for Elseworlds. I like this episode a lot. We got to see Nora seeing some of her father's greatest triumphs and even greatest losses. I liked that, it was fun. Cicada is, of course, as powerful as ever, but we got Killer Frost back and I'm here for that. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me. Thanks for tuning in. See you tunes. out.